our second time at City Gate Outlets. We have so much designer to show you. Chloe, these mini bags were so cute. 420 USD after a 50% discount. It was absolutely amazing. And Burberry had some of the best finds. The bags, they had a lot of really seasonal pattern. My favorite was probably like this green velvet I saw, um, like a checkered version. Um, basically they were all about 40 to 50% off too and they were honestly pretty classic um, the shoes were a little bit more out of season or it's just very like avant-garde um, they're really quite nice maybe just not for me but they had a fairly decent discount a bunch of them were about 40% off I'm so excited to take you all around this mall again. I didn't realize there was so many high-end designers the first time I came here. Um, if you stick to the end, we have loads of designer shoes and a massive up to 90% discount. Um, but definitely some really good finds. Um, I think Burberry had some of the best items. Um, definitely the bags were probably the best here. And then the clothes they had about 50 to 40 percent off depending what it was and everyone had like you know additional 10 percent or 20 percent i was so surprised about ferragamo i've kind of lost visibility of this brand for a while but there was some really cute shoes actually um and then there i think a really classic silhouette i do have a pair of ferragamos from ages ago um but i do still think they're very classic um they are a little bit older. These were my favorite, but they were only a size 37 and which were just a touch too big for me. But I think they were like around 50% off as well. Um, my mom totally thought all the patent leather ones felt like plastic though. Um, I totally get that the patent leather flats aren't as like premium feeling than like suede and um, calfskin. But they had some really good shoes. Ferragamo actually does shoes really well. I do really like them. And I think if you were able to get it at a discount, like if you head to the outlet, there's so many classic styles as well as um, some really fun seasonal pattern ones. Um, I did get to try on a couple pairs. We're actually looking today purposely for a shoe for my mom. Um, she's looking for a shoe for... A wedding that we're attending so she's trying on most of the shoes i already got mine um, but my mom is trying to find hers some really fun like bright colors from ferragamos for little small leather good accessories too this is my favorite pair so i think the sandals they did really really well they look very classic pretty decently priced because it's at the outlet and it's really fun like you want those bright color sandals anyways for summer didn't get too many good shots at max mara since we weren't allowed to film um but they had a sign that said it was like up to i think it was 80 percent off so it was really really good it's just depending on what you were looking at okay and Versace also was a bit too nervous to film here, but there was a couple of interesting pieces. Versace is always super fun, and I think for, there is a couple of Versace outlets throughout the world, um, so I wouldn't really get Versace personally um, at regular retail price anymore since I do see it go on sale quite often. Um, sorry, a bit shaky, but some really cute bling-bling items there. And of course, Coach, like, I felt like Coach fell off the radar of the fashion world for a while. And then when they brought back that pillow tabby and the tabby bag, they kind of gained a lot of recognition within influencers and a lot of people. Honestly, I'm still liking Coach now because of that revival of the tabby bag. Um, but they had a lot of cute little prints. Um, I'm actually dying for one of these, like, little shoulder bags. I think it's so cute. What do you think about Coach? Would you still wear it? I know it was like a brand that I liked back in high school, but now I don't know. I'm kind of like, I think the quality of leather there is really nice, um, as well as the price point is pretty good. These Bali belt 
heels were actually quite classic. They have it all year round. That big buckle is a very big classic for them. Um, I'm just picking up a couple of items that I really liked. This one was my favorite of all of them. I honestly think it's because it reminds me of the Hermes um, Oasis sandals. Um, but it is a really nice classic piece too. Just a quick shot of Michael Kors. Um, I'm not too fond of this brand anymore, but sometimes you can still find one or two cute pieces or if it was for gifts, uh, maybe for someone younger or it still works well. This is my favorite store in this entire outlet. If you were to hit the City Gate outlet in Hong Kong, definitely recommend this particular store, especially if you are all about your shoes. It's called Petter. And it's actually um, the outlet version of Lane Crawford. So Lane Crawford is an out, a department store, a luxury department store in Hong Kong. And this is their outlet version of it. But they've called it a different name so that it's not associated to Lane Crawford. But it's so exciting. There's, I didn't even realize that baby shoes. But they have so many good pairs of shoes here for such a good deal. It's a tiny, tiny shop actually. But they stuff so much inventory in here. I, the first, because this is my second time in here, but I legit came back to this mall because I wanted to go to this store again. Like, look at this Golden Goose Shoes. Oh no, sorry, super. I, I forgot how, what this brand is called, but it is gorgeous and literally 50% off. So great deals but still 50% off is kind of expensive for like dirty beat up sneakers for like a thousand Canadian dollars but I mean you do you if you like that literally so many good pieces so last time I've been here I grabbed these Christian Louboutin heels for 90% off granted they were a size too small so you got to be really careful of what you actually pick up um, they have more sizes and more like newer styles for items that are less um, expensive, uh, less old. So if it's like a couple of seasons old, it's usually a little bit higher in price point. Um, and then the older seasons, like the shoe I picked up was from 2017, actually. So it's a five-year-old shoe on the market, but it was 90% off. So uh, for me, it was still worth it and it was still pretty classic. I love these sandals from Aquazura. And this J.W. Anderson shoe, this has just been trending since last year and they're already on the outlet. So I personally just try not to buy trend pieces and then when I do, I'm going to go to the outlet for it or whatever designer sale they have because these trend pieces will go on sale. This was a really cute bag. I picked this up because it was 90% off. I think it was like less than, it was probably about 80 USD. So such a good deal. But, you know, I just have so many pairs of shoes already. But I'm obsessed. If my closet looked like this, I would just be like, ooh. And I think these Louboutins were 90% off as well. They retail for about 105 USD. $100 for christian louboutins is just crazy to me i just feel like you cannot pass this up so if you want like cheap cheap designer shoes hit this outlet up i swear you will just find something you like even if you don't need need it you might just want it as an addition to your closet because that's what i always do i tried on these marie Sarah, um heels way back when it was like a, a new arrival a new brand and now they're 90 percent off so i had to try on these heels and i think these were actually my size but i decided not to i didn't know if i wanted gold wings louboutins these were adorable and again my mom was trying on shoes so she was trying on a couple of pairs that could potentially work for her for a wedding shoe but my mom is incredibly picky just like her daughter. These were sweet plexiglass shoes. I'm not a huge fan of Alexander Brang anymore, but this was so plushy. Loved it. 
do you think you would pick up any of these shoes they're very trend driven i know none of these shoes are really like classic per se they're very trend shoes like they're usually hot very hot for one or two seasons and then you'll see them on sale and in this case in this outlet but i personally because i love my wild fashion i still love this like this shoe gorgeous and i really should try to buy sneakers more often because at the end of the day no, no matter how many pairs of heels i buy i just wear my sneakers or like flats or sandals so definitely trying my best to buy more flat shoes versus heels my mom was debating on these two heels she really liked these two were her final favorites let me know which one you think was her favorite or which one she ended up getting. She really liked this one. I didn't think it was quite a wedding shoe style, but she really liked the look of it. And the leather was incredibly soft. This was just hilarious. I always thought these Mesa Marjala shoes were just so funny. I just wanted to show you everything. I've been seeing a lot more of this brand, Pedro. Um, I believe it's a brand from Spain, but they had such really pretty, comfortable, and like very classic looking shoes. I tried on a bunch of their sandals too, but they are quite expensive. Can you see the amount of shoes here? I was literally screaming in the inside. I love my shoes so much. Would you prefer to save up to buy a handbag or would you buy shoes? I personally would buy shoes. I can buy like a couple of pairs of shoes. Oh, this one. Oh, gorgeous. These feather ones. Definitely super trend driven, but I love it. I love how there's shoes for literally every single outfit here in every single color you definitely if you were looking to like match your dress or whatever date night outfit if this store literally covers everything and the best part is is that they are on sale so they are all at least like 40 to 50 percent off and then you get these gems that are like 70 to 80 to 90 percent off And there was that YSL tribute you saw on the bottom for a quick second. Oh my god, love those. I would have totally snapped them up if they were my size. And they had definitely little accessories. No clothes here, um, but little accessories, hats, um, scarves, um, little bags. Nothing too crazy. Um, but definitely the shoe selection was the most amazing. I'm not a huge fan of hats in general. It's just so hard for me to pull off. And especially these ones were super trendy. Um, so not for me, but they had a small selection of them too. So there's a, a little bit of scarves. And that comes to the end of our shopping video here today. Uh, we did end off going to the Sheraton Buffet. Uh, and hello, it was amazing. Um, I didn't think I would like that many buffets, but uh, you know how many like little crab bits I ate, like at least two or three crabs. Um, and it was just really fun shopping with my mom. Um, I don't shop with her too often, so it was just really nice when we catch up together. This is everything I ate. This was just one plate of like six. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye.